gonna be kind of a speed build, turning this into a sleeper car. Hey, now it's time to do that stealth camping video I've always wanted to do. Greg just did one. Oh my goodness, there's plenty of room. Stitching my way around the circle. Oof. That's the good size yellow perk. Good shoulders on them. We're gonna stand out like a sore thumb or taco bowls. Quite the taco bowl. Let's see what Sarah thinks. How cool is this? You happy? Mm -hmm. I'm happy too. I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Makery and Mischief. Yeah. Uh, a nice fall time cut for fall. There we go. Joe. It is fall time. We are canning, and I thought it'd be fun to do something I wanted to do for a little while. Actually, one of the reasons I even bought my car was to see if I could fit into it and turn it into like a little one person stealth camper. All right, so there's only one thing I gotta know. Yep. Is it unlocked? It's unlocked. All right. And can I sleep in it? Is there room? Oh yeah, look at that. A little modification with a little bit of deckings for my pillow. And that's it, man. Aiden's out there vacuuming the car, getting it all cleaned out. So we can do this build. It's gonna be kind of a speed build. Like uh, with the kids going back to school yesterday, I only have just so much time this week to make a video and I thought, hey, now it's time to do that, you know, stealth camping video I've always wanted to do. Greg just did one. I've been trying to talk him into it for years. I'm gonna have a nap at least. So we're gonna do a quick build, turning this into a sleeper car and uh, a sleeper Subaru and then scoot up north um, the reason I'm doing this instead of taking the glamper is because I want to go on to a little bit bigger lake. And that uh, bigger lake, I want the bigger boat, and I can't bring the glamper and the boat. Pretty simple. And it's just how much can I get done in the next five hours. I did try to do a stealth camping years ago to save myself money while I was traveling once. And I took my old truck and I like laid in the bed of it at a rest area and it was so creepy that it, it like, I couldn't get hardly any sleep. So the, with this one, the plan is to build as simple of a thing as possible, that these two pieces of plywood pop back out, one that slides out the back and becomes a table off the back to cook on, and then when the two pieces of plywood are slid back in there and you close everything up, I wanna have some little magnetic curtains and the plywood will allow me to fit as fully in there as possible because otherwise you got that footwell area that uh, you have to fill with stuff and then kind of like sleep on, no good. But enough of all that, let's get on to the build and what are we gonna power this build with? Jackery, our sponsor for today's video. We did one a couple, uh, oh, in the last video right there with their uh, 1500 Explorer, which is very cool, very powerful. And this time we are going to be doing one with their brand new, I believe that this is a 1000. So my idea is not only can I power this in the car to power a little fan while I sleep, maybe run my bullet in the morning, make my bulletproof coffee. So I'm still a little bit glamping. Even if I'm not glamping, I need something to power the cameras and the camera charging and the batteries for the flashlights and the lighting that we use at night, stuff like that to bring you those sweet, sweet images of all of our adventures. Can't disapprove of that bright orange. Why doesn't everybody do that? This is so, this is like the most innovative thing I've ever seen in somebody's product, an orange cord. Like you can't lose it. I like how this is a 1000. It's just enough you can lift it one hand kind of like, you want to reach in, put it somewhere. We got a little light. Wow, super bright. That's the brightest, uh, one of the, wow, I can't see anything now. We got the old power outlet, AKA the old cigarette lighter. You turn on your power, we're at 20%. So we're gonna need to charge it some while I start the build. Maybe I'll even um, use the 80 watt panel here. 
So these are 80 watt panels that they sent, but they also sent me hundreds, which I used with the other unit. And apparently two of these 100s will charge this in eight hours. And uh, two of these 80s will charge it in nine hours. So that uh, should help you make up your mind there, which one you want to buy for your pack. But you can also, with this adapter, you can have up to four panels. So if eight hours for two of these, it'd be four hours, rainy day, it might take six and a half, seven hours, um, really rainy, overcast, cloudy day, you might still be able to get a full charge with all four of these panels. And it's completely plug and play portable. Like you can't screw this up. I spent a lot of time living out in the woods back in the day before I moved to town after winning alone. And I was like, I had, I built like several little solar setups and had wires run everywhere and things kept getting fried. And then, and I just, it was so complicated trying to get an inverter and a battery and a, and a current flow stopper so it didn't flow backwards and fry your panels. And whereas this, you just plug it in and it tells you the exact amount of time you have on there. When you're running a tool off of there, it tells you how fast you're killing it. Oh my goodness, so the case is like some sort of a reflector. I'm gonna have to read up on this 80 watt here. What's going on? That looks like there's a solar panel on the back. Let's see, dual sided panels enhance solar efficiency. Okay, so that's what the that foil thing is. It, it boosted up to 25% more efficient with that reflector. Okay, so you place the reflector so it's down and then it comes up the back. So light that passes through bounces off and hits there and it comes down, hits there. So the 100's more compact, easier to stow away, but the 80 is gonna be more efficient and you're gonna get closer to your exact amount of watts that it can absorb, um, especially on overcast day. So if it's full sun, you're gonna be getting 80 out of that. And then if it's full sun and just perfect and you got the exact right angle, you're gonna get 100 out of the other one. But on an in-between day, you might get uh, on a slightly overcast day or hazy day, you might still get 80 on that one, but the 100 might get a little bit less than 80 because the 80, this 80 watt being that dual charging thing being 25% more efficient, you know what I mean? So that's something you have to think about when you choose out your own solar panel to go with these. Or maybe you don't even need a panel, you just charge it up and you go and you're only gonna be out for a day. All right, we got 45 hours of charging off one 80 watt panel right now. But I'm gonna hook up the other panel so there'll be two 80s in series. <coughs> Both panels hooked up, we got six 0.4 hours, 128 watts. So that's uh, just a bit shy because there is a little bit of clouds over the top of the sun and we got some fall sun coming down here. You should be able to get 160 out of it, about 30 more watts out of these on a uh, in the perfect scenario and increase that charge time. I'm gonna plug in the regular power because that increases my time to an hour and a half and get on with the build so we can uh, Get on with the adventure. Okay, we gotta figure out, I took these seat tops off before uh, cause they get in the, so much mess everywhere. Having kids, I tell you, I think when I went to the doctor the other day, they actually said I measured out at 5'10". I used to be 5'11 and a half. I never topped out to six feet. Somehow I've shrunk I don't know if that's gonna help me fit in here any better. Let's see, with the seats all the way forward. As you can see, there's kind of a, an angle this doesn't quite lay flat. And this kind of bumps up here. So we gotta bump up here, we gotta fix. And a big cavity for your head, should I be sleeping? Oh yeah, there's plenty of room. I don't have to modify the seat at all. Lose that. So even my toes all stretched out, wouldn't be touching the trunk. Let's finish cleaning this up and build a plywood piece that takes this head bar out to there and fixes this bump here, makes it nice and flat. I wanna to try to build this in as few pieces as possible. Quick, simple, just a couple spacers to hold things up so they sit in there and it says flat all the way across. 
but also so that the two pieces that are making up this whole thing are easy to get out and throw in, chuck them in there, no problem. And I want the back one to be able to lift up and then slide out and then flip two legs down. And then I can grab my stuff from underneath the seats, like a little cooker, a little bullet blender, have some power from the power pack and have a couple little clip-on lights here and be nice and cozy. All right, we got some beautiful marine plywood, half inch. This stuff is awesome. I bought it offline last year with a whole bunch of sheets of uh, quarter inch marine plywood so I could do a stitch and go clack with my dad. But he's getting knee surgery done, so we've kind of delayed that and it should be all healed up and good to go with both of his knees fixed by next spring and we can do the build and have, another, have an adventure and do another leg of the river, Connecticut River in Vermont with those. And the rest of the marine plywood, I got like a pile of it like that big, um, is going to be for my ice shack this winter, like an ultralight ice shack that telescopes open. And uh, I'm stealing this one piece. It's supposed to be part of the floor of that. So first thing I got to do is come up with a template. When I used to build wooden boats, the best thing to do was just to rip quarter inch glue on. And I got some of that up here and glue it together with some hot glue and then I can lay it on here and cut the pieces out. I think, I think that's the best way to start. Let's do a uh, build montage. Start cutting. The little 1000 is not enough to run a table saw, but we know that this guy is. So we'll use the 1500 for this. I mean, it's not really necessarily designed for that big of a workload. Obviously, not a big deal. The 1000 can run the small skill saw and the big uh, table saw can only be run by the 1500. So that's pretty sweet. I think most of the time you're going to want to use with this or at least I'm. my only plans are mostly charging my batteries, charging my cordless tools if I'm doing stuff. That's more than enough. Better than I thought. Oh my goodness. There's plenty of room. I was thinking that my head would be up there, but now I'm thinking maybe it's better back here. Forgot to make things for these. But maybe it's better not to, or maybe I'll just make a little cardboard cutout for this time. Just to jam in there and then with a little pull handle or something. Because then you can be in bed here if you look, you hear weird noises. I can look like that, and then I can lift the curtain right here and look back at the boat behind here. Aiden's doing the curtains, and Matt is making a 
uh, laser cut little window things. You know, like A and W root beer. They had those things that would go on the outside of your window. So we're using our new laser. We're gonna cut a thing, um, plexiglass, and I'll heat bend it. Slips right in there and has a little tray right here so I could put like a little drink, uh, all the stuff in my pockets at night, you know, my pocket knife, things like that. So let's go see how they're doing on their projects. The back two would be the nicest to be able to be like, click, 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 click into place or peel it back and be like, yeah. what's going on out there? What's going on? Oh, oh, there's shady characters in the Walmart. We're gonna get murdered in the Walmart parking lot. You know, stuff like that. You're gonna look like the shady character. I'm gonna look like the <laughs> shady, except for I got this really nice vehicle with like, oh no, you know what I just realized? Like, how is this gonna work? With, with all of this all over the car, what are the odds that I'm gonna get any sleep? Uh. Like every time I've gone to a parking lot and I've been there for a matter of more, you know, waiting for Sarah in the main mall, three people approached me, which is I love, you know, but not while I'm trying to take a stealth nap. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen and people don't bug me too much. Not that I don't like that. I love that when you guys as fans come up, I, I have no problem with doing selfies and hanging out, visiting with people. I love that, but maybe not while I'm sleeping. If it happens, it happens. And uh, maybe I'll put the uh, hubcaps on from the Mad Max movie that we built there with the big spikes all over them and I'll keep people away. Maybe some of those flames coming out from underneath when anybody tries to approach on the motion sensors. All right, this is Matt's project. Oh, it looks like you got it going on. Yeah, so we got, I was trying to follow along here. So this is three. Those are, those are my instructions. Yeah. So we got three quarter inch lips here, here, and here, then two inch lip down here to bend. Yep. And it's the whole kit and caboodle is 10 inches wide. Now you're about to cut? Fire it. Fire it, go for it. This yeah. is our first time using like the actual material too, not yeah. the cardboard. Oh yeah, their material. So you scan it and you yeah. pop it in there. It sets all the settings for you. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't touched a thing. <coughs> oh wait, wait. <gasps> all right, it's okay. What about orienting that way so we can fit two on there? Do another one. There we go. Just like, I guess me, I just butt it right up, who cares? Yeah, it makes it all in one cut. Yeah. Does it let you do that? That was so automatic. Yeah. That, that was, was cool. This is slick. It's really loud. <laughs> uh, let's get back to my side of the build. We got a lot still to do uh, before we hit the road in two hours. All right, she's done. Has a funky little smell to it, but that's all right. And cut it, oh, it did. Man, that is so perfect. One and done. Now we just gotta heat bend these. I think I'm gonna change gears a little bit because I do wanna get out the door today and I wanna get out the door quick. So we're just gonna pop this in here. We're done, that's it. Um, this is stage one, done. Simplify, that's done. I can sleep in there now. It, that piece of plywood comes up, folds back, and the stuff can all get put in there, and I can go to bed. Now, I need to finish my little window trays and my curtains so it's truly stealthy and invisible when I'm in it and I'm sleeping. And then I can hit the road. Got an hour and a half on the counter. Go. Check on uh, Aiden, see if we can't help him get the curtains done. And then pack up and we're out of here. Special backpack window, I made the whole thing two inches extra. Okay, Yeah. I'll just shut it in the thing tonight. I'm gonna go run down and give this a try. Let's give it a try. Oh, should have made it as big as this thing. All right, I gotta stitch these on. Cool. That's gonna be the only way we're gonna get stick it to the window. Stitching. Just like racing. Going around in a circle, stitching my way around the circle, feathering that gas, 
NASCAR fans are gonna be like, what is you on? You're such an idiot. I'll slip a magnet in. There we go. One magnet installed. I gotta put five on the top edges and then maybe two down the sides and then I'll be able to install it. Not a quick process. How many of them do you have to do? Uh, four, five, six. All right, let's go test it out. That's one down. Oof. Well, that's it. The other ones will just have to get taped on for tonight because we don't have time to make all of them. This is a one day build and adventure stealth camping that we're doing and we got one magnetic window. Pops off, pops in. Actually, I'm pretty happy with that. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, and you're done with it, put it away, quick. You're not camping, you're on the road again. The police are after you. Uh, uh, I hope not. <laughs> Just trying to stealth camp at Walmart. Don't jinx us. <laughs> Not that I don't believe in jinxes. All right. What's the next step? Packing. Time to pack. And uh, but first, I gotta run out to my father in class. That I'm going to so at the church, and then come back, throw everything in the car, and get out of here. All right. So I gotta go do that, and then come back, and we're out of here. Three hours later. All right. We are here at Sarah's, all loaded up in the back and ready to go. You ready, hon? I'm ready. She's ready. We're all, I think we're all set. Everything we need. Yeah, so we're running up to Newport, to the Walmart there, camp out there, and then we can go fishing in the morning, and then we'll see if we can't catch and cook ourselves something for morning. Here we go. One hour later. You've arrived. It kind of just struck me as I like how slightly ridiculous we are. Like all of our adventures that we do when we're driving up here to camp out in the Walmart parking lot and then go fishing in the morning. Like, and, and it closes, we made it just in time so it closes so we can get some stuff. We have 20 minutes. But we have 20 minutes. So, like, is this place gonna clear right out? We're gonna stand out like a sore thumb, or? I am certainly hungry. You, you even hungry anymore? I'm hungry. You're hungry? All right, let's get some food. I don't think I have been to a Walmart at this time of night since the East Coast Slingshot Tournament, the first one I went to. Chris and I slept at the Walmart in Jersey. I was, uh, I slept under a bush, and he, oh, there we go, it did work. And he says he slept in the car, and I, but all night long I kept hearing the doors opening and closing, like someone was rummaging, rummaging through our stuff in the back of the truck, and uh, it was so hard to get some sleep. But every time I woke up and checked on things, everything was fine. This time, hopefully we don't have to deal with anything like that. See, those are what we get to grow next year. Because those are the, I think, the tomatoes that you want for tomato sauce. One green lime. Pretty cold. And all the mangoes are hard as a rock. There we go. I found a ripe one. Well, romaine's good, right? All right. Taco bowls. Beef, 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 beef. There we go. All right. So we got some good stuff. Coffee, 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 coffee. Oh, that's a huge. Oh, we got the uh, grinder so we can grind the coffee. <laughs> Ironically enough, I didn't bring any duct tape, so oh, big. Well, I'll take it with us and check really quick over here. Oh, water, water, and an avocado and cilantro. Now we have everything we need. That went well. We like just barely made it, huh? Kicked out of the store. Yeah, they they were actually really nice. Here, let me get that for you. Oh, throw that in the car, pull around to maybe over there where everybody else is so we don't get disturbed. That seems like the no disturb area where all the other vehicles are and set up shop and make some food. 
Well, we kind of got to park in the middle because we got to take up through two spots, or we park right there lengthwise along the bushes. What do you think? Mm. I think I like the lengthwise. Yeah, I think so. There. That seems good. Bring me to the nicest places. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you say that, but this was your dream too, right? It was. Like yeah. you were like you wanted to stop camp and then camp at a Walmart and have an adventure. I was like trying to think of something to do this week because I didn't have a lot of time, and I wanted to get out and have an adventure, make another video. So I went and saw Sarah. I was like, what do we do? What do we do? And we tossed around some ideas. None of them seemed like they were doable in the amount of time that we had. And then I went home and then she's like, I have an idea. And right when she said that, I was thinking about turning this into a camper. And she's like, what if we took the your car and turned it into a camper? Because you wanted to do that and put it at the top of the hill for like an Airbnb or something. And, uh, and we ended up with this idea um, by combining all of our ideas together. So here we are. It's your fault if this goes <laughs> badly. Now we just have to convert it into the cooking and sleeping and everything-ish going on. Let's see, what is the best way to do so? So that took us five minutes. We still got the mattress, air mattress to put out and then our sleeping bag. Normally we sleep in hammocks when we go on adventures. So it's gonna be tight quarters. I was gonna cook right on this in the back of the car but we got the boat so i think i'm gonna set up right here and do my cooking while she gets it all cozy in there and then when our food's done we can hop in and be chill Two windows down. There we go. Our windows are done. Sarah's just taping the little one. This one's just stuck on with magnets. I put the neodymium magnet here and another one on the outside there. And it's holding the little curtains on. I'm gonna have to make some sort of little clasps or something. I'd really like to suck in tight so it was just like a, like they just go on and they're like thunk and they're like 100% tight. So if you have heard of anything or seen another video, throw the link in the comments down below so that I can get on it and make these the best they could be. But we'll get back to the cooking and uh, so we can get to bed and go fishing first thing in the morning. And that's why we're up here. Oh, look at that. It toasted it right up. A little devil's dust. Avocado. Red onion, a wee bit of cilantro, a little cheese, the mango. Our homemade salsa that Sarah made from the garden. Scoop a bunch of that onto there. Squeeze of the lime all over the top. And the pieta resistance. Doritos. To flake it all up with ba boom hot sauce a little bit of sour cream quite the taco bowl let's see what Sarah thinks I'll bring it in oh, oh what do you think that looks amazing isn't that crazy Yum. bring that down hit the trunk button oh that, that did it climbing in just a wee bit cramped in here. We got our little movie that closed the door. 
So it says these pop out pretty easily, so you gotta be careful. All right. Looks like we're sealed in pretty good. It's nice. Lord, thank you for this food. Bless this food to our body and uh, bless our fishing in the morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. How cool is this? The measure done. Did my heart love till now? For swear it's sight. Amazing. We gotta do this more often. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. You're happy? Mm -hmm. I'm happy too. Yeah, this will be perfect now. So if I go to, um, <laughs> it's always cheaper to fly out of Boston, but I hate coming back mm. and being exhausted and having to drive all the way from Boston yeah, to home. That's pretty awful. That's the worst drive ever when you're like bend back on a red eye. When I get back in, I just need like 45 minutes mm -hmm. after I get my luggage of good, restful, restful sleep, you know? Ciao, Bella! A little fan. Let's see. The cool thing is, if somebody is out there, I can see right out there. So if I hear anything shady going on out there, somebody gonna try to unhook and take the boat or steal anything, I can just turn the keys and we can see through that out back. It's like one o'clock when we finished eating now and uh, I think we're gonna skip out on the rest of the movie and we're gonna get some sleep because we wanna fish in the morning. So, good night. Good night. And uh, we'll see you in a couple seconds. Do some uh, more adventuring. That worked really good. It's super blacked out. Apparently, the day is like all a happening here. People are driving all over the place and it's just like, we're student drivers doing their driving lessons and, and it's my dream fulfilled. This is the dream I had when I bought the car that I was gonna do this very thing and, and it was just enough space to do it. Yes, nailed it. Now it's time to nail some coffee. That'll wake Sarah up. <sighs> Pick a nick it back skit. And we need some power for making coffee. <clears throat> uh, there we go. Let's see just how much we used last night. All right. Use 25% of the power to run the fan all night while we slept. So 25% of the power for that, 25% of the power for the build, that's pretty cool. And I still have 50% of the power to charge cameras and stuff like that. And without even hooking up the solar panel, I could stay a whole nother day pretty much. Yeah. Dear Diary, before I did this, I thought I should look this up to make sure it's legal. Turns out, 50% of Walmarts allow you to camp in their parking lots. But you're not supposed to call it camping because you might ruin it for everybody else because if they actually notice, 
Apparently, they could take this privilege away. The irony of the whole thing is that whereas only 50% of them let you camp there, every single one of them will let you shop there in your pajamas. Making a special cup of coffee for Sarah. I make a bulletproof coffee. Mm, so good. Heavy cream, just a bit of butter, almond extract, vanilla, stevia. Add your coffee. One cup of love. Let's go bring that to Sarah. See if we can't get ourselves moving towards the lake. Morning. Brought you coffee. <laughs> I'm not ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. All right, well, I am gonna set the timer. 8.33, how long does it take me to break this down so we can get back on the road? Let's see, 11 minutes. Not too shabby for a quick turnaround there. Let's uh, get off to the lake. Goodbye, good people of Walmart and your beautiful parking lot. That was actually quite comfortable. Now, let's do some fishing. I just realized I, I don't know where we're going. And like, uh, uh, we're kind of like cruising along, going on a, we don't have any point of a purpose so far. Uh, let's see, if I back out. So we got a couple options at this time of year. There's some crappy in here and stuff. So we could try to find like a basin or a push up where, you know, fish might be feeding. People always fish over by the Durham Bridge. Like the Amish do in the winter. The Amish fish by the Durham mm -hmm. Bridge? Yeah. Well, that's as good a place as any to start. Let's go to the bridge. It's deep enough so far. Woo! Yeah. We're just, the trolling motor is what? Just like a couple inches. Six inches. Six inches of clearance. We made it. Go back. Found this little spot here where it pushes up. It tends to be in the middle of a lake. If there's a spot that pushes up, smaller fish like crappie, uh, perch, things like that, we might be able to drop straight down. Let's change it to fish finder. Oh yeah, look at that. That's what we're looking for. That could be a big old school of crappie right there. So, oh, you found this, the little smokies there from uh, Cattleman's Cut. These things are so good. They sent me a whole bunch. Mmm. Let's see if we can catch a fish. Taking advantage of having the power pack. There we go. Oh, it says it's fast charging. With the USB-C port. I like that this thing has USB-C ports. Like, that's the modern way of doing it. I like cables that, I wish everything would switch to that, where they'd all be this double-ended. USB-C instead of that square one that you plug in. When you plug that in without looking, it's such a pain in the neck. You, you go to plug it in and you're always plugging it in wrong. That one, it's all rigged up. And we'll just go in the coolers, the worms. I see how you're gonna get first fish. <laughs> you're like not handing me the, <laughs> not handing me the worms there. You're like just like rig up and 
Let me just toss it over first. Let me put that over the side and then I'll hand you the worm. Slip it on the end of the hook like that. So when you jig it, it goes like that. Fish on. <laughs> oh, white perch. That's delicious. Those are good. That must be what's down there is a whole bunch of white perch. That'll make a good breakfast. Boom. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Woohoo. All right. Oh, it's a keep. It's the biggest one of the day so far. <laughs> and I still got my worm bit. There we go. Another one. And any leftovers we'll put in the lobster traps. These are perfect for that. Another one? All right. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Another something else. Species game, knocking it out. That's a good size yellow perch. Those are meaty, good shoulders on them. That meaty fit. Whoa, that is a monster. You got it, I guess. That's, that's a big fish. That's a good sized one. I just put the bucket over by you, huh? Pile up a whole bucket and then something big was just jumping over there. I'm like, we're having a good fishy morning. Pretty sure if we kept the towel a year ahead. Yeah. I think some of these little Helger might type nymphs or whatever. Fish on. There we go. Soft plastics work. So if we run out of worms. Oh, there's a good one. Final note on the Jackery. Explore 1000 Pro, 38% did the build, charged our phones, charged some batteries, charged some power for cordless drills, just like all kinds of stuff for the whole time without having to even get the solar on. That's 24 hours of use out of this thing since I charged it up for this project. Very cool. Check it out, links in the description below. Yeehaw. Really loaded them this time with the mango. It's the fish, the meat, and mushrooms, a little bit of cheese, homemade salsa. On it. I'm gonna squeeze some lime on it. Ooh, ghost pepper pickles. Sour cream, I'm gonna put that on the side so you can. Ooh. There you go, hun. Yeah. Taco bowl day. Mm -hmm. There we had. Two, one one for one for breakfast at 1 a.m. <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, one for oh 12 hours 12 hours later at one in the afternoon. Lord, thank you for this food. Bless this food to our body. In Jesus' name, Amen. <laughs> a little bit. Mmm, that's good. Mm, I love the Doritos on top. Mm-hmm. Look at that nice bite, the spicy piece of fish, some of our homemade salsa that Sarah made from the vegetables from the garden, and one of those spicy pickles and chips. Mmm. Ah, oh, fish. That's pretty good. That's excellent. Yeah. We did it. Mm -hmm. We came, we saw, came up with the idea the day before, mm -hmm. got up the next morning. 
went right at it, but actually took me until I didn't really fully get to start cutting and doing stuff. I was like cleaning the shop and everything until like canning spaghetti sauce. Oh, it was canning, yeah, canning the spaghetti sauce and filming for that and all that. And I didn't even really start filming for this until 11 30, almost 12 o'clock. So from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock, got the whole build done, got up there, and got our dinner made. Still one alive. Yeah, I slept really good in the back of your car. Yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah. And the, um, um, when it came to those magnetic curtains, that one that was magnetic was like so easy to pop up and come off so quickly. That's the best part. It stayed dark in there, you know, until we opened the doors. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I didn't hardly hear any sounds. And then when I got out of the car this morning, there's like a driver's ed class going on right there and people yeah. driving back and forth and carts being pushed down the parking lot. And I'm like, how did we not hear mm -hmm. any of that? Well, unless you want to sit around, watch us continue to eat and talk with our mouths full, mm -hmm. I think we're pretty much done here. I'm going to work on more of that build, seal that plywood up, make it so that I can pull it out and... Um, have a cook surface on the back, maybe even make it so that that little space has a little bit of space underneath of there so I can store it. And I might even cut the front board and make that into a two piece sort of thing uh, so that like I can do it without even getting out of the car if I wanted to, but we'll see. Uh, I'll have to brainstorm that one. So thanks for watching. I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. We're gonna finish up here. Take those, throw those in the lobster traps next time we head out and uh, turn those into lobster and continue our adventure. See you guys in the next one. Fowler, my girl Sarah, out. And now we can start chewing with our mouths open. I know you still have the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on to you now. <laughs> You're on to my <laughs> tricky ways. You almost fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>